The final Hell Priest location remains unknown. The demonic consumption of Earth will not be stopped until the last priest and his guardian are destroyed. We will require assistance in order to locate the final Hell Priest. I believe Dr. Hayden can help us with our search. I will calibrate the portal to the Ark's command station. Alright everyone, uh, we're back with some Doom Eternal. I know not everybody's here yet, but hey, if anyone drops in, hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Dr. Hayden is just across the complex. This industrial campus was once the headquarters of the Resistance. So now we're just gonna go find Dr. Hayden. Good news for the faithful. The deceiver, Samuel Hayden, has fallen. The Ark is no more. Damn you, AC. This area is no longer secure. Evacuation protocol is in effect. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are all doing well today. Damn, Pinky. What's up, man? Hey, Retro, how you doing? Oh my god, yo, I've already lost a life. That's annoying. Um, yeah, man, not too much. How are you doing? this area. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Chilling with Kay, she's nearly asleep on me, just hugging. Aw, oh, aren't you guys cute? Excited for Summer Games, trailers, reveals, plus KH4 news, hopefully at D23. If anything, it would be D23, and D23 is usually like, I think September for D23, but yeah, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. Um, I am getting kind of sick of uh, the fans at the moment being like, oh, can't wait to play Kingdom Hearts on the PS12 and have it on 2020-30 release. I'm like, guys, come on. Let's, let's just chill. <laughs> oh, I got it. Uh, I don't think we're ever gonna get Spyro 4 though, because the company has like no intention, right? At least that's from what I've heard. But it would be nice, but then again, I've never been a fan of the Spyro games. I only just recently got them when they made the uh, remake collection thing with 1, 2, and 3. Because I was just obsessed with Kingdom Hearts when I was a kid, and still am. I mean, it's my special, special interest. Um, I can talk about it for days. I've got, like, 15 new video ideas to go through, so... i got to get through that before I go on my break again. Um, which I'll do annually, so i gotta, I got to wait before I can do that. I need to get my content out. But we be working, we be working. Son of a biscuit tin. But yeah, 2026, 2027, I could see Kingdom Hearts 4 coming out. 202030 is a bit of a fucking stretch. One person was like 202090, I was like, Jesus. So many titles in development like FF7 Part 3, Kingdom Hearts 4, maybe FF9 Remake, that's your hope, uh, FF10 Remake, and Hidden Others. Yeah, they're also, um, they're also working on a bunch of other things. Like, they're working on, like, new titles as well that they're trying to make and bring out. Um, so, you know, Square got a lot on their plate, man. And also, like, not to mention they got Missing Link as well, and just loads of stuff, man. Like, you know, Square, man. But, yeah, it's, it's just crazy to me when people are like, I waited 13 years for Kingdom Hearts. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I waited since Kingdom Hearts 2 ended. Well, you shouldn't have, because there was no guarantee that Kingdom Hearts 3 was a thing. 
if you waited like everyone else when the thing was actually revealed back in 2013, you only waited six years, which in actuality we did only wait six years. No one waited 13 years because there was no guarantee that it was coming out. <laughs> so, uh, I, I could talk about that for hours, but yeah, let's not let's not get into that debate while I'm here. <laughs> way long, mainly because they changed the engine. Uh, yeah, so basically what happened was is that they changed engine, and then we waited longer because a lot of the stuff that they had already made progress with, like the world building and like all of that stuff, so like when you saw like the first, um, trailer, they had like Twilight Town all mapped out, you could explore it and do all this other stuff and like the secret like crack in the wall which led to the mansion was still there and then it wasn't, it's because when they transferred to Unreal Engine 4 they lost like loads of progress including like world model builds so like they had to rework it all from the ground up so that's another reason why it took so long but then again like six years, is that really that long? No. Like, I know people who've waited legit like 10 years for a video game to come out, and it's... Yeah. <laughs> it, it's crazy, man. Warning. The Ox Headquarters is under attack. Embrace your suffering, young advocates. Beyond the pain, there is... Oh, they're down here. Didn't work on KH1 again when they did 1.5 PS3, they lost the... Oh no, 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 I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts 3, bro, you're all good. I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts 3. They just added some stuff for 1.5 that wasn't in the original. Well, the standard version of Kingdom Hearts 1, I guess you could say. Oh, toasty. Okay, done. We got him. Uh, so it's like one of those hidden toy things around here. The only Doom game I played was Doom 1 PS1 original. This game looks fun though. Uh, I actually just recently beat Doom 1 because I bought the classics um, for my PlayStation. And I beat Doom uh, 1 pretty quick. Doom 2 is giving me more trouble, but I'm having fun. I'm having fun with it. Where is this jumping jackass? Did he jump out the window? Attention. Oh, yes, he did. Has fallen. The oh, oh, that's not the same Please one. Please evacuate immediately. I'm not having a good day of this one. 
Oh, my neck. But yeah, Chris, Attention. you've been okay, Samuel man? You've been, been doing anything the interesting? No Please evacuate immediately. Nothing much to be, uh, nothing much really to be honest. Ah man, I mean, chillin' man, chillin'. You know, just, just enjoy some, some, some chill vibes, man. I just finished FF7 Rebirth Story, FF16 DLC next week for Leviathan. Oh, nice waiting for now. Nice, nice, man. I've not started uh, Rebirth yet, but I've already heard some bullshit Attention. about Rebirth. Um, not with, like, the story, the although I've normal. had, like, two Please story spoilers. Um, but... Um... People are apparently blaming Namora for Rebirth, and I'm like, Namora didn't even work on Rebirth, he just got credited because he worked on the original. He didn't even work on Remake. <laughs> but, yeah, it's mad how crazy people are to, like, blame Namora for everything. Probably my favorite game in 10 years, Rebirth, he directed the remake. No, 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 Namora said he didn't do anything with it. From what, like, came out, apparently. Hey, Nico, how you doing, man? It's been a minute, how you doing? One of the most kick-ass games right here, exactly, Doom Eternal. I run to this music and the Kingdom Hearts music. Doing great, glad that you're doing great. Yes, D-Man. <laughs> D-Man, how's your day going? Nico, you got you guys all doing good? Chris, your Friday treating you well? you um eat that bitch doing great no work today just vibing a hey, that's what I like to hear guys that's what I like to hear This is going to be living in my head round three now. Hey, Josh, how you doing? something like crack. There we go. No demons or zombies allowed to live. Nah, fuck you. Um, that, that was, that was just 
Why did I sound like Dick Dastardly from Wacky Races? <laughs> the entrance into Dr. Hayden's outpost is blocked. Two peripheral turrets identified. Calculating optimal firing path. Confirm. You could use both turrets to clear a path. I will mark them for you. Sorry, I was having a wee snack. Uh, I'm good. Hey, Josh, glad that you're doing good. Uh, Blake, when I get my PC, you, me, and D, man, should collab, talk about games, etc. Um, yeah, man, like, like, no problem. Um, honestly, I keep putting it out there, but if people want to, like, collab with me, just, like, send me a message on Discord or send me a message on my email. Um, but yeah, it, uh, um, yeah, it's all fine, man. Like, we could even do one now, like I could record it with my PC, or D-Man could record it with his PC, you just need like a decent headset, like really, that's a, that's about it, and join on a Discord call on your phone, really simple. Whoa now, Pinky. Oh, that must have hurt, yikes, I'm sorry bro, blew up your tail. Actually, wait, no, I'm not. I'm the Doom guy. I'm angry at demons for killing my pet bunny Daisy. In this case, I would be Whisper killing demons over the pet boy Donald Duck. <laughs> Massive. Yeah, forget him, he can suck off. Oh god. No, hell no, no! I'm 50 50 to get uh, Stellar Blade and I enjoyed the damn. I didn't, because I then realized it was a Souls game when I played it. I was like, oh, it's a Souls game, I'm good. Let's forget how I get up here. Oh right, there's a stack. I'm 26 years old, I don't know how to find a new stairs. That Wolverine game is going to be R-rated. Oh, nice. Well, it should be. It's Wolverine, man. He's, like, got a really fucked backstory. I want another Deadpool game, though. I can't even lie to you. I can't lie. We've only got the chainsaw, ma! Oh boy. Give me this. 
Oh, this guy doesn't have it. There we go. That's the ticket, lads. I love that it's still like a little floppy disk from back in the original Doom games. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 002. Subject analysis of Doom Slayer, January 24th, 2163. There is no chance that the subject is a demon. We have blood samples pulled from the Mars base event that show his blood type is AB positive. He is male with a genome that makes him very much a member of the human race. But the enhanced strength, speed, and athleticism would indicate otherwise. But we can see from the blood samples that there are foreign bodies present of unknown origin. I cannot, as a contributing member of the scientific community, agree with the assumption by some of my colleagues that he is, for lack of a better word, a god, an avenging angel, the right hand of doom here to save humanity from its sins. But I cannot ignore that the timing of his arrival, the identity of his enemies, the fire and brimstone element to this catastrophe we currently find ourselves in has, it, it has definitely shaken my scientific resolve. There you go, guys. A bit of Doom Guy of Law for you. Hey, Isaac, how you doing? What's good? Hey, yo. <laughs> Isaac becoming unhinged 2024 sneak preview. <laughs> but hey, Isaac, how's it going, man? You doing good? You doing well? You looking after yourself? Josh, you're still here. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing good. Nice, nice. Glad you're doing good. I'm okay, Josh. Good. Um, by the way, I, I was um playing the original Doom to play it for myself first before I come on the stream and look like a complete absolute moron. Beat the first Doom game. Love it. Um, but while playing it, because of um, there wasn't like. A lot of lore other than after a few missions you get like a text screen telling you some stuff that's happening and it's very very like okay it's very very vague and you know it just gives you like the basic premise like doom guy got sent to a mars base because he refused to kill an uh, kill civilians when his team were told to do so by like one of their army chiefs and uh yeah Ayo Blake actually played the first Doom. I did. I did. I beat it. I didn't play the extra bonus level that they added because it was made by the fans. And I tried playing it and I was like, bro, like, they've just placed walls everywhere. And if I step on this platform down here, I'm just going to die because it's, like, covered in, like, lava. And then, like, there's another one that's just covered in acid. So it's like, yeah. But I beat the main story base one. Um, but while looking for the manuals and stuff to read online because most of the story was contained in the game manuals and a few text screens in Doom 1. Uh, I then went and did some digging on Doom Guy lore and apparently Doom Guy spent so much time in hell and in another plane of existence that transcends beyond some kind of dimension where all time and stuff cease to exist. Doom Guy is like not the average human, and because of this, Doom Guy became so fast he can actually move faster than the speed of light with either his movement speed or his reflex speed and his instinct, like instinct, like speed. So, uh, yeah, there you go, little little Doom Guy lore. <laughs> but yeah, I, ha I had a lot of fun, Isaac. I, I did have a lot, a lot of fun. 
the mention of Poseidon, of the nips of Poseidon, oh god. That, that's, that's where, um, what's his face, Kratos went and he punched the nipples off of P Poseidon. Well, actually, he ripped his whole goddamn head off, I think. Or did he just violently beat him to I always forget. I think he just violently beat him to death, actually. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Oh! Not that kind of difficult. Okay, um, I hate this parkour level, but here we go. Cool little yellow goldenish model aeroplane. Anyway, it sucks. Uh, Blake making quotes of the nips was your greatest asset. Nah, man, the smackaroni and cheese is my greatest asset. Ah, suck you, mom. Alright, uh, right, I gotta go up here. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Oh wait, wrong one. Hi Inferno. To quote Aquaman, outrageous. <laughs> nice. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 005, subject analysis of Doomslayer, February 2nd, 20... I'm gonna let you guys listen to these because it's like got some Doom Slayer lore. You guys cool with that? Yeah, there we go. 63. Maybe he is a god. Maybe he represents humankind's rage. Their will to persevere, to overcome that which would threaten our survival. He is uncompromising, a relentless being of violence that knows no mention of the hesitation shown by our many leaders and politicians during our time of judgment. Can he overcome them alone? If he can't, we as a species, all species, will not survive. Damn, maybe Doom Guy is a god. But who knows, seriously. No, he's just crazy. He's on that drug called Berserk. Which sent him mental. Um, my mindset is outraged. Yeah, that, that, that'd be true. Woohoo! I got the uh, one up. I seriously need to watch that show where that quote is from. Uh, do you know what show it is? Because if you don't, I'll ask my friend Ren, he might know, he watches a lot of DC, like, cartoons and stuff. Like, he loves DC. Oh, I'm specially stupid. There we go, give me that. Batman the Brave and the Bo- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, isn't that the one where, um... Where people have clipped it on the internet, where it's like, You wouldn't hit a woman, would you, Batman? These hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> like the, like the whole, these hands are like for the something injustice. <laughs> the hands are rated E for everyone. It's the Josh thing. I just remembered. Josh is the first person I've heard say that. So you know. <laughs> Is born a sinner, you have to work hard to achieve success. Yes, and the quote is Hammers of Justice are union sex. Oh, yeah. our destination. <laughs> when they arrive, we arrive. Oh, empowered demon. I'm so scared. I'm shaking in my boots. Now what are you gonna do, you make you bust? You're just an over-glorified unit. Yeah, back off. Unit alert. <laughs> yeah, 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 pretty much. Um, tasty. Um, 
I will show you guys after because I beat Doom 1, they gave me some extra like in-game cosmetics. And right now we're wearing the classic Doom Marine armor from Doom 1. Uh, but yeah, I will show you guys what I got for beating Doom uh, 1. And I think for starting Doom 2 I got some extra stuff. Oh. Hi buddy. Bye buddy. Isaac, you've been chilling today? What you been doing, man? How's your week been? You guys all been okay? The week been treating you guys okay? Plans today? You guys doing much? But I'll survive. Aw, Josh. Giving you a big old hug. Oh, hello, buddy. Okay, you're just annoying because you teleport. I've been chilling mostly. Gonna see if I can go to my local store again tomorrow. Hey, nice, man. Oh yeah, this is the song that's playing now that people had a weird reaction to. Listen, hang on. So because there was one point where we were just going... <laughs> People just had the weirdest reaction to it. No, oh boy. What was I gonna tell you, Isaac? It was something Zelda related. Um. Oh, my friend bought all of the Four Swords manga the other day. How so? Because of um. Like, when this song starts, it starts out like boom, 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 and then like it goes And then people are like, what the f is going on? And then they're like, oh, that actually hits kind of hard. Yeah, he's going to man. Like he he like this is the first time I think he said he's bought manga since he was about fifteen. So he's really going to enjoy it, man. Like he loves that game. Uh, he's still got the original box and everything that it came in, like the original like case and yeah, man. Like he he loves Four Swords. He used to help me a lot with Wind Waker when I was stuck with it, man, so... Yeah. Ah! Yeah... I know what you mean. But yeah, 
it's it's uh it is unfortunate. Um it's like I, I know that you can get um Twilight Princess on the Nintendo Wii and everything, but I just didn't like how the Wii version played. It's why I wish like the uh, GameCube version of Twilight Princess wasn't like jacked up to like over a hundred. So I'm just like, yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, lovely. Another one up. You believe the Doom Slayer will save you? Another Mancubus? dangerous. Isaac, there is actually one thing I want to get your opinion on, right? Do you have high hopes for the Zelda live-action movie? Just, just curious. Because I know a lot of people are like, eh. I'm one of them. <laughs> I'll admit. play some Mario. Talk to you later. Hey, have fun, Josh. Enjoy Mario. Which one you playing before you go? That's, that's fair. That's fair, man. 64. Oh, nice. Have fun. That's what I thought. Uh, 
time ago. Yeah, I just think Link talking is what's like gonna ruin it for me. <laughs> like, I know it shouldn't, but if Link talks, he shouldn't say anything until the end of the movie, and it has to be, well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> That's just me, though, man. Hey, did you guys also hear that Hollywood's trying to make a live-action Minecraft movie with Jason Momoa? I'm not even joking, that's not an April Fool's or anything, like, uh, like that's a serious thing apparently. I mean, I think Link talking isn't gonna ruin it. It's him not shutting up. <laughs> I think Link and Doom Guy are the only two mute heroes that I know. But like Doom Guy does speak unlike Link. I heard about that, that's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, just imagine like Jason Momoa, big buff bloke, hitting a tree with a pickaxe. It's not working. <laughs> God, this is never ending. I mean, Steve did have a beard in the original design before they changed it, so it does kind of fit. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Because I thought I was going crazy, but yeah, they did change it, didn't they? It's fucking weird. Oh yeah, for those of you wondering what we're doing on this mission, we're looking for Samuel Hayden, the robot that betrayed us at the end of Doom 2016. That's what we're looking for. Yep, they even used the OG beard design for Smash Bros. You're so right. You okay there, buddy? There you go. I don't know if I want to kill all the demons, but... Oh, I detonated it right next to myself. Good job, Blake. Oh, hey, I'm Blake. I'm gonna put detonation on for this freaking thing and de detonate it like, right next to my fucking face. Absolute idiot. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I should have just left the demons alone. Not lost one by one. It's okay. We can always find more, Blakey boy. Did I just shoot him in the crotchal area? <laughs> I believe I did. Oh yeah, also this demon has blue blood. Weird. I gotta jump into that portal. Yeah. Here we go. First target destroyed. 
The second turret will give you the angle needed to destroy the remaining tentacle. Also, if you guys were looking in that cutscene, you can see like there are three little scars on the Doom guy's arm. That's actually a reference to the uh, Doom 1 cover where the demon's grabbing his wrist. So there you go. Where's the little stairs? Oh, there they are. They're right in front of me. Dumbass. Isaac, would you would you watch the Minecraft movie just for kicks? <laughs> like just for a joke. <laughs> Cause I probably would. Oh my. I would one hundred percent. Nice. Our transdimensional friends shall not walk on tainted ground. Earth must be cleansed. Also, I like the fact that the plasma rifle in this game looks a lot like the original one from the first Doom games. Ah! By Pinky. Oh, Pinky was the empowered demon? Oh. Well, there we go. You can get out of here. Oh, give me the coin, bro. Thank you. I'm surprised I didn't make a Lego Batman 2 movie though, because the first one was like really, really good. Oh boy. First time playing Eternal? Not my first time playing Eternal. Welcome to the channel, Lightwind. Like win wing. Oh my god, sorry man. My dyslexia is kicking my ass. <laughs> um but yeah, welcome to the welcome to the channel. Apparently they were going to buddy go can Aw oh, man. Oh okay, fair man. Cause like I was like, oh yeah, that was actually pretty funny. Uh, Lightwing, if you like things like Kingdom Hearts, feel free to subscribe, no pressure though, but yeah, I do live Let's Plays of uh, games like Doom and other games as well, and, well, basically all my games, but yeah, welcome to the stream, hope you're doing well today, how's your Friday been treating you, did you have a good week? Ah, oh, damn, I wasn't fast enough. Bloody hell, night. Played Cage, I make Doom content, and your stream popped up in my home. Hello, Isaac. Aw, oh, okay, man. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, a lot of people haven't played Kingdom Hearts. Um, I explain like a lot of stuff to do with the game. I make theories, discussions. I tell facts about it. Um, yeah, just general Kingdom Hearts head. Um, 
I've not been a fan of Doom for too long. My friend got me into it when Eternal came out. Uh, so I played Eternal first, then played 2016, and then just recently bought myself the OG Doom. Uh, beat the first Doom, and now I'm struggling with the second Doom. And I also bought Doom 64 for, I think, less than £4. I think it was like £3.59 for all three of them. Which was great, so, you know. But I have been looking at Doom lore and stuff, so... But Lightwing, um, yeah man, Doom content, that's awesome. Do you explain, like, Doom lore, or what do you, what do, you do exactly, man? Because I'm kind of curious now. <laughs> I explained a lot of like Kingdom Hearts lore stuff, but some Kingdom Hearts lore, man, there's there's just so much that you gotta explain. So I gotta write stuff up on my notes and re revisit um, some things. Uh, GMVs and nightmare diff gameplays. Uh, sorry, what is what is um. GMVs stand for? Edits and nightmare difficulty gameplays. Ah! This game is pretty though. <laughs> I like Eternal. This game is pretty tough. Oh! Pretty tough. Why did I think you said the bro never trust a dyslexic to read? <laughs> you all want to hear something weird that happened today? Yeah, Isaac, go for it, man. Go for it. Lazy, how you going, lazy? I hope they cancel the game. Uh, Do me a zero. Apparently, that one's happening just for Xbox exclusive because Microsoft bought um, the rights, but for Bethesda, but I don't know if it did get cancelled or if they're still going through with it, so yeah, I hope not. Um, so Vacation 10 without work, yippee! Get rid of work. Hey, hey, hey buddy. Still a lot here to do. Uh, it's always how it goes, man. It's always how it goes, man. Uh, Lazy, I hope the little description I wrote for you was okay, man. Uh, please let me know what you think of it. Because, uh, yeah, I was just like, ah, oh, maybe this would help you a little bit for your channel. I changed mine up a little bit, if you guys look at my channel description. Just thought I could use a bit of a facelift. So I was about to play Injustice 2, then my PS4 just ejected the disc by itself, then it kept doing the eject function despite... Uh, me not pressing the button, turning off the console, fixed it. Jesus, sorry man, that's a pain in the ass. Mine used to do that. I do hope the next Doom game is still happening. I would hope so too. It was great. It will later on. I'm going to check how it looks like on desktop view. Oh, nice. Fair play. I just thought I'd write up uh, what you basically do as 
Yeah, I've been to a few, like, I watched quite a lot of your videos, Lazy, so, uh, I'm just like, yep, yeah, man's a critical mode guy, Kingdom Hearts 2 is his favorite because of your old, um, description, and I was like, also, you do, like, mods and other challenging things, and you do a lot of Kingdom Hearts streams on critical, so I was like, that basically sums up Lazy's channel for people. Hey Isaac, how's it going with the uh, Sly stuff, man? With that Sly review. It really does. <laughs> What makes it weirder is that it kept doing the eject function despite not having a disc in it and it wasn't doing the beeping sound. What? Um, do you have a... Do you just have the PS4? PS4 Slim or PS4 Pro? Cause that is weird. Because my PS4 slimmed it. Just need to edit the visual part of the video. The audio is done. Nice, man. Nice. Always get your commentary done first. I always say to people. Yeah, this is it. This is a strange sound that people had a weird reaction to. I have the base PS4. Oh. I personally haven't experienced that, but I think Alex said that they had an experience with that once or twice. Bye bye, buddy. Oh yeah, guys, if you can, do me a favor, drop a like on stream. Just lets me know how much you enjoy this and want the series to continue of Doom Live Let's Plays. Or should I say Doom Eternal? Um... Alright. Ah, fucking god. Super glad turning off the console fixed it. Yeah, my friend said when he had this issue with one of his consoles, he had to like get like a butter knife and slide it in between the two things that hold the disc in place and then turn the console off and then he said it didn't do it for about four months after that. And I was like, really? And he went, yeah, because it was just gripped together. I was like, oh Jesus. But not with the disc in there, he said. But that was for his PS4 Pro, so... Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, hello. Yikes. Yeah, exactly. Why taking this? Alright, let's try that. I've got the ammo for it. Oh no, cool song. Nope, I mind just shot myself up the butt. Always a good thing to do. Oh, it's down here in this pit. <sighs> Why is it always gonna be cannons?
Bloody hell, mate. You're a total console gamer or have PC too? I have a PC, but it's just for editing, so I'm only a console gamer. I don't like, um... I don't like PC gaming. Too many keys and too many, like... Yeah, I haven't got the motor function for it, especially with, like, my dyspraxia that affects my hand-to-eye coordination, so... Controller is perfect for me. I know that people say, oh yeah, you don't have to, but there's a lot of games that you have to play with a mouse and keyboard, and... Yeah. I, I, I'd rather not. And plus, I can't afford a fancy smancy PC that can run a lot of games, so... Console... Better for me. That's just me, though. I'm personally a console gamer, too. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, my friend told me that, like, he recently just blew, like, I think four grand on a PC. And I'm like, Jesus. No secrets around there, I don't think. Dumbass. says me and I just do the most dumb thing. Bro, that is ridiculous. Yep, but you know, he's got the money, so. But, you know, <laughs> fair play to him, but yeah, it is ridiculous. Oh, scary demons. Ah! Gacko demon. There we go. But, uh, yeah. I'm just mainly a console gamer, dude. Alright, where are we? I don't know why I did that, that was, that was actually dumb. One moment. Override successful. The path is now clear. You can access Dr. Hayden's outpost. Here we go. Yeah, Samuel Hayden enter Samuel's base. Cool. But yeah, I just remember like uh, the text screens of Doom 1 being very like minimal with story. And that's fair, like, you know, like for a game in 1993. That's fair, but like the main thing was like, oh, after you know defying an officer's um, commands to shoot on innocent civilians, Doom Guy was sent to the Mars base of the UAC, and then it was like, yeah, you fight a bunch of the undead UAC members, and then like you also fight like demons, and then it's like something about like, uh. You UAC did something with a portal that unleashed demon kind, and it was like after the beating the spider sentinel, you now have the portal access to go home and uh, return home from hell. Because at one point he ended up crossing into hell because of a portal that was left open. But thanks UAC for leaving that portal open. And then it's like yeah, so after the beating the spider sentinel, um, you were then sent home. You found the portal to go back home to Earth. You wonder how everything's been as it's been so time, uh, like some time. So I was like, oh, okay. But I don't know which game Daisy dies in. I think it's the first one or the second. But yeah, 
Just walls of text. Damn it. I'm not dying. That was intense. <laughs> there we go. Are you going to be covering DLCs too this time? Uh, yeah I will because I only beat the Ancient Gods part 1 uh, for myself and then I was like oh I'm starting a Doom series why don't I just stop? <laughs> so yeah that's that's what I'm going to do. I'll cover the Ancient Gods um, part 1 and 2. Alright. Uh, is there any secrets about- oh some lore time I guess. This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log entry 006, February 9th, 2163. The only thing they fear is him. We watched as the Horde overwhelmed the very best and most advanced machinery and weapons technology that we could muster against the opposition. It was useless. They moved too quickly. They cared not for themselves, only sought out the blood of humanity. They were willing to sacrifice their own to get to the heart of our world. We slaughtered thousands and millions more followed, but then he came. He cut through them like a sickle through a field. His fury surpassing their own, he is faster, more relentless. I believe him now to be more than just a man. He is... Doom. You hear that, lads? I am Doom. <laughs> oh, that is a sick cover. Pure hype dialogues. They, they are legit are hype dialogues. <laughs> but it is very interesting, too. Like, you know. Like, especially since he did all this for a pet rabbit. <laughs> R.I.P. Daisy. Oh, um, Lightwing, I got a question for you actually. Someone told me that in Doom Eternal you can sometimes find Daisy around in some of the maps. Is that true or is that not? Man, I couldn't even finish the DLC. I tried it and it, it was at a point where it was too fast for me, truly. Uh, bro, you just gotta keep going till you persevere with Doom. That's, that's my advice. The mortally challenged have entered the compound. The mortally Evacuation challenged. is advised. Oh, it's this way. You know what? 
Yes, we can spot the bunny hidden in some spots. Ah, okay. Doom guy was the inspiration for John Wick, let's be real. <laughs> Light wing, you ever thought of making like Doom lore videos where you like explain like the lore and history of the Doom games and stuff? To be honest, Eternal isn't meant for console gaming primarily, so it's more tough than playing on PC. Ah, fair play. This is Dr. Elena Richardson, log entry 007, March 3rd. 2163. And with him lies our salvation. For as he gains in strength, so do they fall in numbers. The priests command the armies to the north and south, but he controls the fight. The inner circle of death is where he resides, hunting them at the far reaches of the earth and beyond. I am a believer now. I feel it is in doom that I have faith. The Slayer is the spear that stabs at the heart of our attackers, and those that would seek to harm us should feel warned. For there is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time is now. They they really are just like hyping Doom Guy up like yeah if you find this listen he's like hell yeah uh funny I hope this isn't the mission I think that it is I really don't want to fight that one damn demon. Dr. Hayden's office laboratory is located at the top of this facility. Attention! Emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. My god! Um, uh, do Dr. Hayden was uh, convinced uh, that you would come here for this, eventually. Uh, can I just say that it is an honor for me, personally, to meet you? I- oh. Attention! Emergency protocols have been activated. <sighs> Crap, it is this mission. Alright guys, I'm about to fight a really annoying demon, but I found a little trick for it. Uh, that works for me personally, so if you guys ever play it, I'll explain it. But yeah, this demon pisses me off. <laughs> Especially when you got to fight three of them at the same time, but luckily that's not the case right now. <laughs> Please exit the facility now. We, uh, we don't know how to access his main cortex. It's all alien. We couldn't figure it out. We have to, uh, prepare for his... Careful extraction. We were given specific orders. His life signal is barely readable. Warning. Demonic presence threat level 5 entering main laboratory. Let 
Let me help you to see, Slayer. destroyed 68% of Hell's occupying force. Without the priests, the demons will not consume Earth as the Con Maker had planned. But there is still one priest left and I have lost his signal. I can no longer locate him. Dr. Hayden will be able to find him. Dr. Hayden is transferring himself into your ship's mainframe. The architecture is similar to his own. This will... Hiding in Sentinel Prime. The Khan Maker does not want him to be easily found. The only functional slipgate to Sentinel Prime is in the core of Mars, in the lost city of Hibeth. I have marked its location for you, but getting there will take time. There is no easy way to access the core of Mars. There are no known pathways that lead there, Dr. Hayden. The BFG-10,000, designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden as part of the anti-demonic defense grid. I understand. Searching the coordinates to the BFG-10,000 now. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. The portal is ready. Oh yeah, Isaac, I know you might be playing a game at this. Oh wait, hang on. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. Haha, <laughs> funny BFG go boom. Yeah, Isaac, you're gonna laugh at this because what Doom Guy does when he shoots himself into the center of Mars, but right now he does something so hilarious. I just want your reaction to this. Like, I find it so funny because he just grabs this thing that he needs and it's just so funny. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
I don't know why that's so funny to me. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, Warning. that's an okay joke. Is firing. Yeah, I just find it funny. They're just like, oh my god, it's Doom guy. Oh my god, what does he need? Let him in. And he's like, yeah, just give me this bitch. <laughs> BFG ten thousand. Let's go, baby. Warning, the Slayer has entered the facility. Well, guys, don't tell him that. What's up, hey King of Hearts? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Warning. Can't jump out the window, it seems. Good, surprisingly. Hey, that's what I like to hear. Glad that you're doing good. In a good few days now. Hey man, that's great. Love to hear that for you guys. Warning. B at G ten thousand is firing. No god. What's tomorrow's stream? Is it Final Fantasy? Ah, oh, it's Final Fantasy. Okay, Warning. I gotta B at G ten thousand yeah. is firing. I think that we'll finish um, Final Fantasy Crisis Core really easily tomorrow because I mixed around with some material and stuff. I have been feeling that something bad is about to. Don't don't let that feeling happen. Um, don't feel that way either because you just open your mindset to feeling that way. Otherwise, man, just think positively, dude. Think think as positively as you can. That's all I can say. Hey, what's up, Isaac? How are you? Aww. Asking Isaac how I was doing. You guys are a great community, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for that. You guys are so great to each other. Oh, it's this way. Wait, is there something hidden around here? Oh, yeah, they brought back the little potions as well, like Chaos said. Shoutouts to Chaos. He, uh... He and someone else made me buy the other ones. I'm doing good, man. No problem. Morning. Slayer oh, threat God. level at maximum. But yeah, um, don't don't worry too much. Um, honestly, uh, King, because like don't like I know it's easier said than done. Like don't worry is such a thing. But like, honestly, if you get this feeling that something wrong will happen, your brain will make it seem like it is going to happen. So the best thing you can do is try and be like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna just chill out. Go day by day, go with the flow, be chill, you know, just enjoy every small victory you get. If you have a good day, if not homework, like, you know, like, just chilling with the boys, there you go. Isaac, I was trying to say, why was you calling me ma? <laughs> that was a spelling mistake, man. We've all hit the keyboard too quickly before. Oh, BFG 10,000 is firing. <laughs> uh, what do I want? What's this? Increase? Yes. Yes, we need to increase that. Does not sound sus as hell. Yeah, night night, buddy. Oh my god, this goes hard. Warning, BFG ten thousand is firing. This goes hard right now. Ah shit. Warning. BFG 10,000 is firing. It's my color too, baby. It's green. 
Oh, guys. I got a message back from Sterling today. Uh, guy's done quite a few art pieces for me. Uh, he's done my character on um, my most recent thumbnail and Nick's. Guys, the new piece of artwork that's coming to the channel. Oh my god, it's beautiful. He's got to just add one more detail if he can, and then it's perfect and complete. Warning. BFG 10, I'm so hyped for it. Also guys, when I get a bit of money behind me, I'm gonna do uh, a small kind of giveaway with for you guys. And I'm gonna try and get four slots so there can be four winners. Just so you guys know. 777, hey, there you go, man. Ten thousand is firing. Bet. It won't be anything massively crazy, but it will be something nice for you guys. BFG ten thousand is firing. And you don't have to do anything much to win either. And I won't be judging who wins, so that's completely fair. I'll let uh, the mod team decide, so it's fair for everybody. And it's not me, like, you know, picking. There we go. I see, indeed. One BFG ten thousand is firing. Warning. Oh, that was BFG that was a bit nasty. Is firing. Gotcha, bitch. Be right back. All right, Isaac. Oh, this dude again. Warning. BFG 10,000 is firing. Ah, damn it. Use my extra life, damn it. Warning. BFG 10,000 is firing. Warning, BFG 10,000 is firing. I tried... Dreads, it didn't work out. Ah, uh, I mean, hey man, do what you can. Oh, did he get stuck? Warning, so now I'm bo- Oh, I'm sorry, man. Is firing. Hey, it's not the worst thing, crying. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. It's not the worst thing, dude. It's not the worst thing. Oh, internally, oh. 
Warning, BFG-10,000 is firing. There we go. Oh. The entrance is locked. They know you were trying to get here. The schematics show a maintenance hatch on the bridge. Oh my god, I have my super shotgun Warning. this entire time. BFG-10,000 is firing. Oh, scary. There we go. I pressed enter on accident. <laughs> uh, bro, we've all done that. We've all done that, man. No, 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 you don't have to be sorry. You're all good. Get him, get him, get him. Bum bum ba 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 bum Alright, where are we going? Gotta wait for this one to... <sighs> Alright, cool. Oh, there's a little token coin thing over here. Thank you. There we go. Win, exactly. Oh no. Frickin' unit. The hell we got any health? I'm serious, that guy doesn't scare me. I'd like to see him try. Hey, welcome to stream, Fury Potato. Hope you're doing well, man. That control pod contains the energy source of the BFG-10,000. I'm lowering it for you now. Hey, King of Hearts, appreciate you welcoming, Potato. Oh, if someone can please do me a favor and clip this scene coming up. Um, Joe and Sleeves, this is the famous yippee thing from my sleep, uh, from my, um, from my Twitch stream a few years back. Or should I say wee when I went wee? <laughs> but I'll do it again. <laughs> Here we go. Warning. Mars surface targeted. Safety Would you like me to disable the safety protocols? The pod is set to self-destruct. We should move ahead. Danger. All personnel evacuate to Mars surface. The Slayer has control of the Oh wait, I thought this was the one. Maybe I was wrong? Never mind. The BFG. The emergency exit portal should take you directly to the Mars surface facility. Mwah. It is a beautiful, beautiful gun. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful gun the BFG is. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Hey, welcome back. Oh yeah, Isaac. That's the hole in Mars that we just made. <laughs> I have Fury Potato. I did go on ahead and buy Doom 1, Doom 2, and then Doom 64. I think I got it for like three pounds fifty-nine. You can use the facility escape pods to get down to the Mars core, but we have no way of reaching it from here. Yeah, I think 359 or 369 I got it for. 
There we go. I beat Doom 1, so... Ah, ah, yo, 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 where, where the hell was that sending me? Totem nearby. I think I know where it is actually. I think I remember it being. Yep, found it. Suck your mom, lad. The absolute unit. <clears throat> did anyone else just see? Did a anyone else just just see that the monkey bus do a roll? Like he rolled over and flipped. <laughs> did anyone else see that other than me? POV me during nightmare. Yeah, you got you got to be like Doom guy. I did. That was that was quite funny. Yippee! All right, cool. Where are we going? All right. I think there's something here actually. Not the freaking tentacle coming out of there in a minute. You guys ready for Doom Slayer to do something mad? Because that's a weapon. See Jessica in HR and sign up. There we go. Give me that. How about no, you weird, creepy lady? Alright, here we go. Clip for Joe and Sleeves. We're gonna go wee. The Ion Catapult is designed to use only approved UAC ammunition. Override loading sequence. Fire. Three, two, one. Wee! We're here, baby. Mm. 
Dunga, yes, yeah, smacks into a wall and doesn't break it. Oh, I think he did break it, actually. But he didn't break. Wait, where's the hole? Where's the... Yeah, he came in through the surface up there and then through down here. Oh god, this area. Yeah, Doom Guy moving a bit mad on a Friday. I don't know, I'm joking about how it wouldn't work. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Doom Guy is. Well, yeah, that's the only logic you need, apparently. Doom Guy is Doom Guy. I think there's an extra life or a. something up here. Oh, it's a totem. Token thing. There we go. Give me that. Thank you. I think in here is the extra life. There we go. I knew there was one around here. I forget how I get up there exactly. Why am I dumb enough to think that that would work? Don't everybody answer that. <laughs> Don't actually nobody answer that. <laughs> Those are annoying. Cause you're <laughs> wow. Damn, Isaac. Jesus. <laughs> I expect a full letter essay apology to my mother, Isaac. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. She would have found that funny, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> no! Every time I get stuck in a corner, it's when I get an extra life, I swear to you. Insert the troll phase here. <laughs> I swear you did that once in one of the comment sections. No! Oh. Okay, we did it. No, no, no! Don't tell me I just I just slipped up the edge. Good, good job, Blake. Good job, you fucking idiot. Wow. Okay. Well, that was bullshit. I don't remember that. Maybe it was the Lenny face. Is there a difference? Sent the clip to Discord. Hey, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Ooh, more BFG. It only gave me two shit. No problem. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. No, 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 no! Am I really gonna have to sacrifice BFG ammo right now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Oh shit! Oh shit! 
This is good any fit. Oh, yeah, then maybe it was that one. I sacrificed BFG ammo for, like, literally nothing. There we go. God damn. Would have been nice if those two could have off and died earlier. <laughs> Are you dumb? Why are you not? Watch me be the one that's being dumb. Oh, that's why, okay. I couldn't go in, I had to climb through the top of the... to get annoyed at myself. Now it oh bruh. F in the chat fail. Alright, where am I? Ah Really? Fuck. Boom, boom, boom. Give me this. What does he have a little... Alright, Max, you can have his 20 at the moment. Oh my, yo. Not cool, buddy. Not cool. Yeah, oh god. There we go. Oh, Blake, you absolute... Oh. I am the luckiest idiot that ever lived on the planet Earth. Ah. There we go. No, I am a hey, oh. guy has no chill. Yippee! There you go. Ammo. For real, for real. Uh, where do I... Oh, right, right, right.
Did I just punch one of the guns off of that guy? I did. Wow, okay, cool. Sure about that. <laughs> I'm charting a flight path to Mars, calculating thrust vectors. Launching in three, two, one. Approaching planetary entry phase. Prepare for turbulence. No joke, uh, King, there's legit a whole debate about that, and Death Battle actually did one saying that Master Chief would win, but they based it on old Doom Guy from, uh, like, Doom 1 and 2, but Doom Guy has had, like, a lot of, like, lore changes and stuff and everything, and don't get me wrong, I think that Master Chief may still have the edge on him, but granted with everything that I've learned and like looked at with Doom Guy, I think he would actually win if we put modern Doom Guy up against Master Chief. But also I have heard that the people who do death battle don't always look at every little thing, they just look at like basic fundamentals, so yeah. But then again, I mean, they, they probably do do their research, but just a lot of people like know their research isn't accurate, but I think it's because they get butthurt that their favorite character wouldn't win. But I think maybe modern Doom guy with everything, he would win, but I don't know, I think it would be pretty close still though. But Doom guy can move faster than the speed of sound apparently, because he spent time in the beyond something realms so where like he spent like years, like if not a thousand or a hundred years there and acquired like that agility and strength and yeah. But Doom Guy has been known to apparently be stronger than most anime characters, so there you go. Why does this kind of sound like a cool one? Reminds me of that one cool one song. There you go, buddy. There you go. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, there's another one.
Oh, that had to have broke his arm and then. Oof. This guy again. That does a good little health kit. All right, let's hope that there's only one of this guy. Oh, you little teleporting bastard. Ah. I'm gonna go to bed. It was good talking all of y'all again. See you next time. Bye. Alright, take care of yourself, King. Have a good nap, dude. And, uh, yeah, just think positively, dude, as much as you can. Think positively. Small victories, man, small victories. There is one thing I will say about the death battle between Doom Guy and Master Chief that was back in the first season when um, they weren't taking it seriously as they are now. Oh, okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, okay. Yeah, how long have they been going now? Like, what, like 10 plus years? Like, death battle? Crazy. I think it's around there, I could be wrong, but yeah man, like, crazy amount of content. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Isaac, do you have a favorite death battle? I like the Sora and Link one, but yeah, I knew that would be accurate that Link would win. Oh no, Sora won that, didn't he? Which, as much as I love my boy Sora, Link, Link would win that. Link would win. Like, let's be real. So the very first death battle episode, uh, Samus vs. Boba Fett, was years ago. Yeah.
Oh, well, I'm, I'm feeling it now. Ah, damn it. I don't really know, it's been a long time since I've seen any of the episodes. I don't count DBX, I think Joker vs. Sweet Tooth. Okay. Oh wait, Sweet Tooth, wasn't that that thing they made a Netflix uh, thing out of? I know it's from DC, but wasn't that it? Or is there like a different thing? I'm not too well uh, well oh my god, I'm not too well versed in my DC lore as I used to be. Um, There we go. This game helps me with my stress and anger, but also stresses me out. But helps a little bit. <laughs> gets that anger out and gets the adrenaline flowing. Uh, Sweet Two from Twisted Metal Games. Oh, not the other one. Oh, okay, okay. Twisted Metal. I don't think I've ever played a Twisted Metal game in my life, actually. But I've heard about them. was real intense. Empowered demon, oh man. That's all I need. Oh no, I need a regular. Get rid of that one, and then I'll be fine. Yeah, they're very Combat game is very arcadey. Take oh. you to Sentinel Prime, where the Hell Priest Dave Grah is waiting. Basically like a fighting game with cars. Oh, that sounds interesting and really weird at the same time, but that sounds really interesting. I think I've seen that. Wasn't that the one that like got banned in a lot of countries because like people deemed it too violent or something? All right, everyone. We are two hours and fourteen minutes in. I don't really think we're gonna get through this whole level in the short amount of time that we have left. So I will end stream right here. Um, hopefully, it should save. Are you sure you quit Lost Pro- Okay, yeah, well, we beat the last mission, so. Um, I don't know, maybe you're thinking of Carmageddon? That might be it. That might be what I'm thinking of, actually, man. Um, oh yeah, so this is what I got from, um, so... Here's the classic Doom Marine that we're wearing from Doom 1. Then I got this when I beat uh, Doom 1, which was, you know, brown Doom Marine. Then we got uh, Indigo Doom Marine, which looks really cool. And now we're unlocking like a bunch of different stuff. Black and white. That looks kind of cool. Uh, Marada. Lumberjack. <laughs> oh my god, they gave him a beard. That's actually hilarious. Teddy Champion. <laughs> that looks just stupid. <laughs> that one looks pretty dope. 
I can't even lie. Profile icon. Okay, so we got quite a few. Yeah, we got... That was a lot of fun. Okay, classic. Yeah, cool. Alright guys, uh, I'll catch you guys next stream. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, a bit of Doom. Tomorrow we're going to hopefully finish up Crisis Core Reunion. Um, then I will probably switch over to FF7 Remake as well, so that we get a bit of both. Um, but yeah, alright guys, see you later. Isaac, have a great weekend. All of you in chat, thank you all for being here. Thank you for liking up the stream. Thank you guys for the incredible support that you guys give me here on this channel. Uh, you guys always motivate me to continue doing what I love doing on this channel. Uh, just have a great weekend, guys, and a great rest of your night. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And uh, we'll play some Crisis Core Reunion. Hopefully finish it. But yeah, take care, guys. May heart be your guiding key. Look after yourself. Spread positivity and kindness towards yourself and towards others. And uh, you can do anything as long as you believe in yourselves. And uh, keep that in mind. Yeah, I'll catch you guys next stream. Peace.